What's up, guys? Let me just fix the camera there. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? This is Winter Game Fox. Um, obviously, I feel happy now because I actually, uh, my last video was crappy because I had the light lamp and hitting my face until I realized let's change it up a little bit. So, what would a YouTuber do? Set everything up in his own, his own decoration. So, that's all fine. Um, I feel quite positive now. Because this video is gonna be, um, you know, this is gonna be a tutorial video how to clean your own gas mask out. So if you guys are wondering what gas mask I'm gonna be cleaning, it's the only gas mask that I have in the video. I will guys let you know if I ever bought Israeli mask or anything like that. So I'm gonna focus the, uh, okay, there we go. The focuser is out. Um, and let's get on to the part of the video. So I have the GP5 gas mask, as you see from. Uh, well, the last video I was testing it out it's all still wet and everything I uh, apparently it's still wet like I it's unsafe to breathe out of and everything but again what people have been asking is can you clean a GP5 gas mask out and the answer is yes if you if you just look it up on YouTube and find some low-budget youtuber that does it unless you find weapon and stuff YouTube channel, then he'll do give you a good video. But this video is gonna be a hundred percent clear how to clean it, really clean it, not just throw water and then here you go, scrub yourself and that's it. No, we gotta throw some special stuff because we. I already looked online what type of chemicals are good for the rubber. They're good for the rubber, like pot does a positive effect, and pretty much I looked it up and it's it says it there, but I really don't have I don't have any of those stuff to to do it so. So, let's get on the point. This is a GB5 gas mask. This is my first gas mask. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, the take care, the able to take care of this mask, which I'll tell you after the video. Actually, I might as well tell you right now because most people are going to be dumb when they don't know about. Okay, to able to treat a gas mask right and make it last long is that you have to put this mask in your baggie. If it doesn't come with a baggie, at least find a blanket or cloth or what I've seen people do online is they bought in their self a, um, a they got their self a pickle jar they put the mask in a pickle jar like the empty pickle jar like it's empty and clean they close the lid and then what I've heard is they vacuumize it but it does negative effect on rubber because rubber does have the negative effect when it gets touched by heat so many times it's it's enormously and okay let me just tell you at this point um once you vacuumize the jar for this gb5 gas mask then you're going to want to um, store it in and then basically put it in the drawer and then there you go you have yourself a gas mask that has no oxygen to keep it real good long lasting and in fact if i haven't he just uploaded this his blog just about two weeks ago and I'm still checking on update. I actually have his email. We can't talk a little bit to each other. Just check out Mikey and Stuff. Mikey and Stuff blog has it all in his info, but I can't find his link. I tried getting a link and it doesn't work, so pretty much. So I'm going to show you for a little bit. So hold on. If you can, I could just pause it right here. Okay, guys, I just fixed up some stuff for you. Now, so we're going to show you tutorials how to clean this out, and we're not going to talk and talk. We're going to actually uh, take this film into the restroom so we can show you how to clean it, how to dry it, and then how to properly also clean the other stuff besides the, uh, the inside rubber, actually. Because I want to make sure this stuff is clean so that way you can have a good clean mask to use for the future. This mask is pretty interesting to actually use. I actually pretty like it. I thought I, when I first put it on, I didn't like it until I realized that GP5 is not a bad mask, actually. Just use it well, and you you can have a secured mask that you could last long. Actually, in fact, if you were to hold on to these, you never know. They can you can charge them extra extra bucks. Like you can, they could be worth valuable. But until today, it's it's six dollars. These things are cheap as heck. But again, well well made produced gas masks. You can find them for about. If you live in the UK, what they said is you can find for 20 pounds, but if you live in the United States, which I have looked up, and apparently surplus store sells them for a rip-off price, uh, $30 to uh, 15 
to sell this. When I looked on uh, Amazon, they have it for about six dollars pounds, so you can get these masks off for cheap and everything. Sale. Um, the the seller I bought it from, he didn't sell me at the filter. Thank God he didn't. But anyways, but we're gonna take this video to the restroom. But first, I'm gonna show you on the, on my bed the um, three basic stuff you're gonna need to have. Actually, the four. So I'm just gonna pause it right here so I can move the. Alright guys, so this is everything which you need to how to clean your own gas mask out. I would highly advise you to do these stuff. I'm not going to just toss the mask on water and let it do the job. Nope. We're going to do this the real way. So here you got, first thing first, you got to soak the mask with water. Then you got to have your rag to clean it out. But before you do that, you have to have a bar soap. Any bar soap, and it's, this one's naturally bought in. By a farmer's market. They say they don't put no chemicals in it. It's just basic ingredients of nature. Uh, I can't really remember what they put in it. Because they told me like three times. But I didn't quite remember. But I bought this a long time ago. But it's pretty good. Good body wash. But that's a brand new one by the way. It may be small but it's really strong. Then you have your second rag to use to clean Windex. Because you're going to want to clean the... Uh, the eye sights of this because I'm pretty sure it's made of glass but sometimes it could actually get dirty and stained and, and stress out most people would I actually have heard people told me online that the, that they would normally take the lens at the whole thing out to able to clean the whole entire thing but again I don't want to do that because once I take it apart and put it back in I have to make sure it's sealed in it doesn't seal it in you're screwed so I'm just going to leave it like that it is now, you do not want to use other soap. If some soaps are proved to be used on this, then go ahead and use them if you have any type of your soap. But the one soap I would not recommend is using body wash soap or anything like that because they have condition with, with the... They have chemicals to put the mainly the clean body parts, not rubbery parts. So I would recommend not to go for the, the parts that people would normally... Um, don't, go for those, don't go for those high top shelf soaps. The ones that guarantee you clean your body, so use it towards on the mask. Because that would ruin it, and you're going to have that scent. Here's another bad thing about the soaps. Is you're not, you're going to have a, you don't want the soap, the good smoke. Because they're going to smell good. The problem is, how are you going to tell if, if your mask is going to work? How are you going to tell if you're smelling the chemicals coming in? Even though all you can smell is nothing but axe or body old spikes or any like that so that's the that's the one here's the basic steps so wash it with soap rub it with a good natural natural soap only if you can't find natural at least find a product with low with low uh condition with chemicals you're gonna get you're gonna need a towel need this rag to dry out the mask you want to dry it real good and not only that you have to clean the in valve and the out valve and then you have to have a Windex. Any Windex would do. Or if bonus, if you have a glass cleaner, the glass cleaner can spray will work definitely good. Right now I have the original Windex, so that stuff should work. And then you have your rag to clean and dry off the eye sights. So let's get started, guys. Okay, guys, I'm at the sink. I'm going to show you how to clean the mask out so you can be 100% sure, sure that your mask is cleaned up. Hold on, I'll drop something. Hate my stuff draws. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna to want to dip your mask in the water, gently and not harmly. Let it soak for a little bit, not a lot. When I first saw a YouTuber done this, I thought it was stupid, but then I realized it wasn't stupid. Actually, that's how you really clean it, because I looked up online how to clean mask out. So to be able to do this, you're gonna need a toothbrush, which I don't have a toothbrush, but if I were to have one, I would really. Yeah, I don't have any toothbrushes to use against this. I'm pretty much sure that it's not going to run well. But that's not necessary. So, you're going to want to soak the mask up a little bit hard. And then pull it to make sure it drains. And then... Once you have done that, then I'm going to want to drain the water a little bit halfway there. Just like if I can know. Uh... 
Yeah, I'm having a hard time doing this. There we go. So we drain the mask. I'm gonna drain the other one. There we go. So you have it halfway there. Now place your mask on top of the water to clean it out real good. So, like the guy that said in the video, get a bar of soap and then rub it on there. But to be able to do this, it's gonna be hard because I'm holding a camera with one hand. I don't have a camera assistant with me right now at the moment because quite busy doing something. So here's how you clean it out. And I'll demonstrate this, how we can do this. So get a soap. This is going to be difficult, but it is going to be worth it. Once you have got soap in there, then you're going to want to rub it. Now, this is going to be hard, but there is an easy way to do this. I'm going to show you a real way how to do it is soak your water with soap. Soak it real good with water soap until it's fully soapy. And then I'll show you with the lights on. So you see how it's all soapy and everything? So once you have it all soapy... Then you're going to want to place your mask into this water and let the soap do the job. But here's one problem. You have to stall over again. You have to dump all the water out with soap. And then you have to dump it out. Now, I would not recommend when you've dumped the water, don't dump it through the end valve. I would say just dump it through the uh, back valve. Or the back of the neck. And then... Once your mask is all fully soapy and everything, what you have, if you scrub it inside, then you're fine. If you have not scrubbed, then you want to get it really hard. Like, you're not nails, but not, try not to scratch the thing. And the, all the rubbery and all that stuff. <laughs> Guarantee, if you use a natural soap, you're not going to, it's going to smell once, but then that soapy smell is going to go away. So you dump it out, then you have it all done. So I'm going to take, I'm sorry guys, but the, 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 the little lever to pull down the drainage is not working today at all. So you're going to want to get all that soap out of the thing. So you're going to want a single soap in there. Okay, so once you have no soap, it's all going to be filled with water pretty soon. Then you're going to... Let it fill up. Let's let it fill up. Let me show you how to. And then we're gonna move. To, we already done step one. We already done step two. Step one. Dip your mask with water. Fill it up. Step two. Get a get a natural bar soap and then clean it out. A natural because if you use like um, specialty soaps like this for example, that's why I left it out here for. This can smell good, but the problem is it it's. It was meant for bodies. It's kind of complicated. You don't want your mask smelling like soapy, like real soapy. And then you realize that when there's a chemical attack, how are you going to know if you're inhaling the chemical? Because that Axe spray or that body spray and anything like that. It smells like Axe or it smells like any soap soap flavor is going gonna, gonna to block off the smell of the what you're smelling, the chemicals. So that's why you don't want to do that. So once you have done that, then and soak all of your... Soak it all. Once you have it all soaked up and cleaned up, then you're going to want to clean it, dry, wiggle it out until you realize it's it's clean everything. You got to inspect the inside of it. So hold on, let me pull my camera down for a second and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so this is what you want your mask to look like once you have cleaned it out. You know, my, notice that if the marks are still there, then you scrub them with your fingers off. And don't worry, this is rubbery so you can actually clean it out. If the marks are still there, then that probably means something would happen where, I don't know. That's why I always keep my face clean when I always wear a gas mask that way. The, um, the bathroom is clean. Right, so once you have done that, so 
drain the mask out. And then there comes steps three and two and four. Five, I think there's five or four steps in this mask. So the first thing you want to do is drain the drain your uh, water out so that we, for caution, you don't want your, uh, well, restroom reasons. So now we're going to move on to step, we're just moving on to step four. Now step five is going to be cleaning the lenses. So here you got a wet GP5, right? Yeah, exactly. You don't want to leave it all wet. So the best thing you want to do is get a towel or a Bessley or rag and then dry the outside first before laying on any cloth or anything like that. It's not a dangerous hazard to have your bed or anywhere wet. It's not going to produce anything. But this is good steps to clean your gas mask when first receiving a gas mask. If you have a more complicated gas mask, in further videos, I will make you how to I will make videos how to clean those. But these are the basic gas masks. This can work on any gas mask. It can work possibly on the PMG, the um, PMG2, and uh, what else gas masks out there? Actually, pretty much that's pretty much it. The gas mask and the SMH. Any Soviet gas mask basically can easily be washed the same style like this. Except for the uh, PMK. The PMK, it looks more like it's a, a one of those complicated models. So that's why I would recommend not trying to do the same thing on that PMK. But this is only how to clean the Russian style. I think the Israeli gas mask has the complicated steps to cleaning a gas mask. So I would recommend to clean. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, guys. So I'm back. So I end up. It's, it was a difficult to dry the whole thing with the outside with one hand. So now what you want to do is A... You have to throw your chunk of your same rag inside the thing and shake it a little bit so that way you can, uh, it can uh, absorb it. So once you've done that, shake it a little bit. You also want to dry the nozzle too. So that nozzle is also has to be dry because that's your, that's your mask that you're going to inhale, inhale the chemicals that you're going to be using with the filter. So I would highly recommend to you using a... I would highly recommend drying this. Don't let it dry itself because then there's some metal in this part and then you don't want the metal just just constantly just got to rust up and everything. You want the metal dry so that way it won't rust or it bend or anything because once metal are so rusty or they've been absorbing too much water, they can easily probably bend. That's by the way I've probably learned in science. Thank God. Is it safe to wear this after you dry it and clean it? Yes, it is actually guarantee but if there's a problem let me know in the comment by again let's just show you how to clean it in the tutorial you won't have no problems dealing with problems cleaning this thing out if you have an old gas mask that you know for sure you have damage problems then that's something that she i would have recommend cleaning it i would just say you could use it so many times but the best thing i would do is if i had a gas mask that was break is already broken down or Trying to repair it, just put it in your wall and let it let it be your display. Because what happens with rubber is they'll crumble up. They'll they'll crumble up. They look like they have a bunch of scratches and everything. Even, but you want to keep your gas mask clean and fresh and new and look like. Because as you see, when I dipped in the water, the water looks a little whitish without before I even put the soap in there. Because it's probably just some, actually just some dust in there that probably I forgot to clean out. So, that being said, yeah. So, once you have dried it out, which I bring a backup towel because honestly, those rags are probably good to dry small things, but this masks. So, hold on, let me pause it first. Okay, guys, so once you have cleaned the uh, inside, you want to unfold your mask and make sure if it's all cleaned up and everything. As you can see, it still looks a little wet, so I'm going to dry it up a little bit so I can uh, make sure that it can be good condition and not wet and everything. So, once you have done that, you're going to be a happy man with a clean mask, but that's not it. That's not it. These glasses are probably stainless proof, but they're probably not, depending what the seller from. So, the best thing you want to do is you don't want to spray inside of your mask. Because obviously that's gonna mess up your mask because you're gonna you're gonna you're not you're gonna inhale the bad stuff chemicals that you're gonna get from this uh, this Windex. So the highlight I suggest you to do is get a rag, find a corner like find each corner with the 
dry tip or anything like that. Which I'm not using the same rag, by the way. So if you don't have no two, if you don't have two rags, then just use one. And so this thing is locked in. Hmm. Having difficulties uh, to work this thing. Hold on, let me pause the video. Slightly tilted, and then we go. So let's get started. Okay, and let's get started. All right, guys. So um, the mask is pretty much dry and clean. I pretty much um, it's dry. It's perfectly clean. I. I don't know if I showed you guys if I tested it out, but I'm going to put it on again to see if it works. I've tried it and everything. So. Uh, okay, guys. It hurts a little bit because the mask just... It's completely it later, but everything else is all fine actually. I feel not comfortable wearing this thing because it's clean and it works actually. So, okay. So, the gas mask works, it's clean, the lenses are clean too, I can see clearly, so... Yep, so it, gas mask is clean, perfectly fine. I'm actually quite happy to clean this, actually it feels a lot more comfortable when I'm knowing my gas, is clean, gas mask is clean and not used by an actual human. But this gas mask is good for, for cleaning if you first just bought this gas mask off of eBay or Amazon. Because, like, I warned you guys, like, the guy, uh, when you first buy the mask, the uh, gas mask, it has a white powder. So you see white powder everywhere in your mask, everywhere you put, I mean, it's just pointing out. It's probably, you can't see because it it's probably too dark to see, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Click glimpse. So... When you first buy a gas mask, a lot of the mistake I did is inhaled the powder and also it hit my eyes, so I'm like freaking my eyes are red, like, because 
I'm perfectly fine. There's, I mean, there's a chance of lung cancer, but I checked in. It pretty much not. It's very, very less, very less critical. So I'm perfectly fine. But quite happy to clean this gas mask out. So quite you see the difference between cleaning it and it looks all brand new. Now the best thing you want to do is put this gas mask in the bag. So that way you can make sure to able to take care of a gas mask you have to put it up in the bag with no sunlight and then you put it if you want to guys you can put it in your own drawer and then just don't touch it because gas mask rubber can actually get ruined by sunlight because uh, pretty much you don't want that happening with your own gas mask so in case there's something happens like if you're in a protest and they throw tear gas and you have nothing to do with it you're gonna put the gas mask on and you have cracks in it then those cracks can lead to a tiny hole where then you can inhale the uh, tear gas and that's a lot of it so smash the like put a thumbs up subscribe and punch that notification and catch you guys later